Hey everyone, let's stick with the Awesome versus Herd. If it's your first time here, let the content hit subscribe. If you want to get notifications for when we post videos, tap the bell. And if you want to subscribe to our Options Trading Live channel, link is below in the description. I go live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before market open. And if you want to join the UVH fam, our community, link is below in the description to our Discord and our Options Trading Group on Facebook. If you made money today, comment got paid. If you lost money today, comment below, learned a lesson, and do me a big, big favor. Hit the like button for the YouTube algo. Really helps me out, pushes the videos, definitely. Thank you so much. Now, getting into it today, man. We hit NASDAQ was just straight up. Tech stocks were straight up. CRM straight up. I actually lost about $500 today. I sold premium I sold premium in CRM along with Dix DKS, and uh, <laughs> and uh, you know Dix was way beyond the expected move, CRM way beyond the expected move, and uh, you know got got crushed in there. I did trade Nordstrom earnings, Toll Brother earnings came out all right. Sold the call on DKNG. Came out okay on there. I'm currently in Abercrombie and Fitch. Earnings sold some premium there. Premium was pr pretty rich. And I bought some BXX calls. Now, getting into tomorrow, you know, there's going to be a lot to watch out for. And first off, tomorrow, you know, we're gonna have we're gonna have we're gonna have the Fed. The Fed, they got a Fed, they got the Fed summit this this year. It's gonna be virtual, of course. So the annual Fed summit, this one's virtual. This the Jerome Powell is going to talk about monetary policy. He's going to be talking about inflation. Generally, how how the when when Powell talks, generally the market doesn't do very well. You know, last couple of weeks ago he came out saying, "Hey, we're not going to recover. This economic fallout is horrible. Things are going bad." Which I mean, obviously we knew, but the market said, "Hey, maybe things aren't all rosy." And yeah, we dropped, but then we came back up. So you know, when I say gap down, I'm not saying you know the market's going to crash. I'm not bearish by any means, especially if we have inflation ticking up. Stocks are going to go up, but that's kind of what they're talking about here tomorrow. So we're going to get some insight from Powell. And what they're going to be doing about inflation, if they're going to keep it in check, if they're not going to keep it in check, if they're just going to let it run rampant, see, let the market and the economy kind of do what it wants to do, and hopefully it corrects itself. I mean, we don't know yet, so we'll we'll see what he has. But so it's it's a big a big thing that's happening tomorrow. Also, Hurricane Laura is going to be making is hitting land tonight actually sometime tonight got upgraded to category four it's going to be hitting t texas and louisiana so most likely going to impact oil it's going to impact the gulf which it already is impacting and people in the in, in those states in the southern states down there so we'll kind of see what happens i don't think it's definitely i don't think it's going to be that much of a market moving event but it is going to be something to be concerned about it is going to be something that may impact us in some way but but the big event tomorrow definitely is going to be the Fed. Now, it's pretty interesting that the Fed is going to be talking tomorrow and right right at market close, right at market close, this news came out about the GOP going to release a smaller coronavirus bill where Republicans are considering a more narrow coronavirus relief bill as aid talks between Trump and administration and Democrats are at a deadlock. I mean, so... Even if the GOP is going to propose a smaller bill, I mean, is, is the House really going to accept it? Are they going to pass it? Probably not. I mean, things. Let's be honest. They don't care. They don't care about the average day, every, average everyday American person. They just don't. They just don't. You know, if they did, they would have passed something that was urgent. But they they're not because the stock market is doing well. Even though jobs haven't returned, stock market is doing well. Economists be doing well, right? <laughs> and that's and that's kind of the situation that we're in right now. So. You know, you can read through the details. I'm not going to go through them all because I kind of want to cover some of the things that were happening with the stock market today. Now, the reason why I got into some VXX calls, I'm up 35% on them. The reason why I got into some VXX calls, you know, obviously we have the event tomorrow. Today I bought the VXX calls at, 
I bought them at 12.31 p.m. today. So I bought them right in here when I was starting to make a recovery. I didn't. Th I honestly didn't think it was going to go up this high. I honestly just bought them to have a little bit of protection, kind of see what's going to happen. Tomorrow's a little bit of an unknown going into Friday with the Fed, all the news that's going to come out with the Fed, and generally that typically isn't good. So that's why I loaded up on VXX. And the reason why I, I picked VXX because I did think volatility was going to increase. We had a huge day. Qs were up 2%. SPY as well was up 1%. And things just kind of ticked higher. SPY was a, just, I mean, everything just kind of grounded higher. We did have some people take profits and then just ran back up. So, however, with that being said, we had, we had, Every, the market ripping higher, but then we also had VXX and VIX ripping higher as well. So we could see VIX actually went red to green as well. This ripped up from 21 and a half to 23, 27. So I'm like kind of thinking to myself, you know, I don't really want to buy something right now, but I don't want to short something either. So that's why I went to VXX. I'm like, okay, this is probably, you know, volatility is probably going to increase. We're hitting some lows. Obviously, VXX looking like, if we, if we look at this this month, looking like it wanted, to, not, not saying I'm doing any technical analysis or anything, but you can kind of see last time it was 24, bounced up to 25, 26. Then it came down to 24 again, bounced up to 25, and then today we hit 23, and we're looking like we're making a bounce again. So, you know, it seems like when we get down in this range last few times, it wants volatility wants to wants to increase. You know, we, we got and we and we have some catalysts. We had the Fed. We have some things going on in the world. So, spy. SPY was is obviously fresh new highs and you know I'm not scared the trend is definitely your friend is definitely it's definitely still on the uptick you know if you look at the queues so I'm not I'm not too worried about that I mean but if we do have a big reversal tomorrow I do think that we could come down to the 10 day which is you know pretty a pretty big decent sized drop but we we have ripped I mean in 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 August how many red days have we had in August I mean just like 4 maybe three. I mean, we're, 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 we're pretty green overall this month. So we're just ripping higher and higher and higher. So how much more can we rip up? But you know, I'm not trying to time the top. I'm not trying to be bearish. I'm not trying to short. I'm just trying to be, you know, kind of reasonable and understanding of what's going on here and trying to see where the market is going to do next. And that's all that we can do. We, we can't control the market. We can't control what's going to happen in the world. We can't control what's going to happen with either political party. We can't control what's happening with Kim Jong-un. If he's in bed or not, we don't know. But at this point, what we can control is price action and, and, and understanding what, what, what it's going to be. And v, VXX, this recovery, I, I was thinking like, oh, it could make a V-shaped recovery today. And then it made some and then exceeded almost hit yesterday's, you know, almost came up to yesterday's high. You know, it's just just incredible. So this this was the main concern, VXX. That's why I got into that, and that's why I'm trading real relatively light. I sold some I sold some premium Abercrombie, but this week I've been trading real, really light, not really doing any day trades. I've been gone all day because I just don't want to load up and have the the Fed mess up my positions. I wanted to kind of take it easy, so I went to VXX. So we'll see what happens. So if you watch this video to the end, comment watch to the end, and as always, stay safe, stay green. It's us versus her.